Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week two assignment of the course Introduction to Industry 4.0 on Industrial IoT. So guys, for the past five years, we are giving the solutions for various courses in NPTEL. So for this season also, we are going to give you solutions for IoT 4.0 course. So I hope all of these solutions are 100% correct. So if there are any changes that comes to your notice, please update in the comment section, guys. So we'll try to sort it out and finalize the answer. So definitely watch the video till the end and definitely like the video guys. And please share that definitely with your friends and classmates through WhatsApp student groups so that it will be helpful for other students also to get benefited for free of cost. So let's see the first question. So first one, which of the following is a key characteristic of the fourth industrial revolution? So for, for the first question, the answer is option C, widespread use of artificial intelligence. So mark option C guys, option C. Now moving on to the second question. Second one. Which of the following is not, not a physical mega trend? So for second question, the answer is option A, cloud computing. So cloud computing is not a physical mega trend. So mark option A guys. Now moving on to the third question. Third one, how does industry 4.0 enhance sustainability in manufacturing industries? So for third question, the answer is option B, through globalization and emerging technologies. So mark option B. Now let's move on to the fourth question. The fourth one. What is a crucial aspect of supply chain management SEM in sustainable manufacturing? So for fourth question, the answer is option D. Considering environmental concerns such as climate change, contamination and resource consumption. So option D. Next, moving on to the fifth question. Fifth one. So before moving into this fifth question, I want to make a small announcement guys. So that is regarding, so we have prepared the exam preparation MCQs for IOT 4.0 course as well. So we have been providing huge number of huge number of 300 MCQs guys. 300 MCQs. No one is going to provide these number of MCQs through a Google Drive PDF link guys. It's a restricted link. So for one person it is just 300 rupees guys. So that means for each MCQ one rupee right. So for 300 MCQs 300 rupees right. For last time we have uh, given for 500 rupees for even for one person also but now we have reduced the price in order to benefit the students in order to less lessen the bur burden for the students so for one person it is now 300 rupees only guys and for two to five persons it will be 500 rupees guys if you have your classmates along with you you can take this two to five persons combinedly or if you are only one person no need to hurt no need to afraid guys so you have this 300 rupees pack. So with five years of NPTEL experience, we have prepared this guys. So this is the email ID if you want to purchase these packs. So bk179417 at the red gmail.com. So I will give the same email ID in the description box as well as in the comment section guys. So if you want to purchase this PDF MCQs, message me to this email ID. I will give the email ID same in the description box as well as in the comment section. You will get a huge number of 300 MCQs guys and there is also another thing that is YouTube membership here you will get only 100 plus MCQs for 119 rupees it is in a video format guys it is only for one person and one month 
if you want this youtube membership go to our channel s kumar edu and click on this join button beside the subscribe button and select the pack guys so here you have if you see here i have prepared the members only videos so here there will be many one many courses along with iot 4.0 here you can see that right so you can join our channel by click on join button and selecting the 119 pack guys so here 119 pack you can select and click on join once again so you'll become member of our channel and you can get access to all our videos guys but my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mcqs pack because you are getting more number of mcqs and better coverage of the syllabus so for one person it is 300 rupees only guys already many students have taken our packs and got benefited and really got very good marks in the final exams guys so hope if you take now itself you will get more time to prepare and less the burden for the final day right and you can prepare other subjects in between time so use this time properly guys for your future so this is the email id you have to message me guys i'll give the email id same same email id in the description box and also in the comment section now let's get back to the solution so fifth one what role does ICT play in the manufacturing industry? So for fifth question, the correct answer is option B guys. Serving as the main nervous system of any manufacturing unit industry. So mark option B. Next, moving on to the sixth question. Sixth one. What characterizes an emerging market in the context of Industry 4.0? So for sixth question, the answer is once again option B guys. Markets that meet the standards of newly developed innovative products. So option B. B. Next, moving on to the seventh question, guys. Seventh one. What is the primary focus of the lean production system? Primary focus of the lean production system. So, for seventh question, the answer is option B. Prioritizing customer needs. Prioritizing customer needs. So what the customer is or going to require so we have to prioritize we have to give importance to the needs of that customer the requirement of that customer so mark option b guys now let's move on to the eighth one eighth question eighth one which among the following are aspects of socio-economic issues of sustainability in industry 4.0 so for eighth question the correct answer is so all these three options all of the above all of the above option d moving on to the ninth question ninth one The lean production system mainly focuses on the customer's need. Which company is credited for the development of lean production system? So for ninth question, the answer is option B guys. Toyota Motors. Toyota Motors. Option B. Now moving on to the 10th question. 10th one, what is a major concern in implementing lean production in the context of industry 4.0? So before getting into this solution, I want to make it small once again make you remember guys. So we are giving or providing you huge number of 300 MCQs guys in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So for one person it is just 300 rupees only guys and for two, two to five persons it will be just 500 rupees only guys. 
so club up with your friends or classmates to take the pack to get better prizes guys so for exam preparation mcqs we are providing these number of mcqs guys which is more than two years of nptl session right so with five years of nptl experience we are providing these guys so this is the email id you have to mail me guys so already many students have taken our pack and got benefited and very good marks guys so be one of them guys so start preparing from now itself so 300 mcqs you are going to get guys for one person just 300 rupees only and for two to five persons only 500 rupees guys so this is the email id i will give the same email id in the description box as well as in the comment section guys now let's get back to the questions so please like the video and please share that with your video with your friends guys and take the pack combinedly with your friends and get benefited for the final exam so for 10th question the answer is option b guys integrating humans in plants so mark option b guys b option b now moving on to the 10th 11th question guys we have completed the 10th question and let's move on to the 11th question guys 11th question which of the following is not a benefit not a benefit of smart and connected products so for 11th question the answer is option c rapid increment in the sale price of a product so mark option c next moving on to the 12th question 12th question which of the following is not not a fundamental building block of a smart and connected business in the context of industry 4.0 so for 12th question the answer is fourth option guys none of the above so it means all these three are fundamental building blocks of a smart and connected business in the context of industry 4.0 so none of this is the correct answer guys now moving on to the 13th question what is a major advantage of smart factories so for 13th question the answer is option c improvement in quality and safety so that is the major advantage so mark option c now moving on to the 14th question 14th one how is information technology utilized in smart factories so for 14th question the answer is option c for smart software applications and to control process so mark option c guys now moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 15th one communication trust and capital with respect to the created values play an important role in iiot business model so for 15th and the final question the answer is option b true guys option b true so friends these are the solutions for week to assignment of iiot 4.0 course so hope this video helpful for you guys if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share that with your friends guys and take this 300 mcqs huge number of 300 mcqs pack guys you will get a google drive pdf link so for one person it will be 300 rupees guys but if you take combinedly for two to five persons it will be just 500 rupees only guys so with five years of huge number of years experience in nptl we are providing these solutions guys so this is the email id you have to mail me for so that's it guys for this video so keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you